Okay, this one is on the Carrier 398 AAW furnace. There's a few things on this thing I wanted you to kind of understand. Uh, this is uh, late 80s, maybe up to about 1990. High efficiency, it was over 90% efficient. It was one of the early 90 percenters. And uh, the reason it's interesting is kind of the last of this type of furnace. It uses a three wire pilot. Let me pop this cover off and maybe you can see it. Okay, there's the three wires. And let's see bits of light in there. Okay, if you look for the uh, aluminum tube and the, and the three wires, you can see that goes into a pilot assembly there. And I've discussed this pilot assembly on earlier earlier videos. Uh, but this is about the last of them to come up with this thing. Okay, if you got real good hearing, you can hear that thing sparking in there. And it should like the pilot. Just barely see that pilot up there in the middle top. And pretty soon it's going to turn on the main burner. And we'll see what the problem is with this thing. Okay, you notice that left burner on there uh, keeps going out. It There's an upset on the airflow in that thing, and I don't think there's enough airflow. I think that's what's happening on it. And uh, sometimes some of the others do it too. Uh, but eventually, the upsetting of the airflow is going to take that three-wire pilot to shut it off. And that's what happened to this thing. Okay, now I've got this panel off. This is a manifold between the primary and secondary heat exchanger. Now, it looks like what's happened here, uh, lots of this crap. Uh, just uh, stuff. I don't know what it is. but Anyway, it has pretty much plugged those things. Let's get you a little closer there. Okay, you can see on the close-up of this that there's quite a lot of blockage in this thing. Uh, and I suppose you could uh, take a brush in there and a vacuum cleaner and see if you could clear that out. Uh, remember, this is a 25-year-old furnace, and I'm not sure you're really going to come out too well on it. I did go ahead and clean this one up uh, with a vac and a brush just to see what would happen and it still did the same thing uh, put some water in the heat exchanger and the secondary heat exchanger and the water leaked out so uh, probably rusted through secondary heat exchanger in this thing 